Hello, it's Sarah, and I just grouted my frog. This is done with this product here. It's called Spectralock Pro Premium Grout. It's a kit that I ordered online. It's the stuff that um, Chris Emmert recommended, and I mixed up way too much, so it makes sense to have a couple projects in the works or things that you want to grout before you mix up your grout so that you don't waste any. That's just a tip I wanted to share. Um, I am in the process of letting it sit. I think I got it on there pretty good. It's covered. Very messy, but I think the next step I'm going to be able to push it over. It has to get a little more set up and then I can kind of smooth it and work it into places and clean it off the areas better. Um, I did not seal the rock the way she seals her rock, so hopefully my sealant worked okay enough that it like I can get the grout off the rock. Um, what else was I going to tell you? Oh, so I'm just letting that sit for like 15, 20 minutes. Let's see. It's 138. 48 like 55 all right but I wanted to show you I went to the Dollar Tree and the Dollar Tree has a lot of cute stuff in little wood pieces I only got these I got this they had seahorses that I really liked but these are little um, turtles sea turtles and then they had these tiny ones that I think if I used my epoxy clay I could make little um, beaded pins or things you know so I just like sea turtles a lot and I thought I could um, just put it was a dollar so this one specifically I mean it could be more of a um, I mean it has a hole in it so it could be a decoration of sorts but I think I mean you could make the underside of the turtle and then the upper side now when Chris uh, another Chris Christy Friesen I did my little turtle with her, and he's in the other room. Let's see, do I have one over here? Yeah, this was the tutorial that I did with Chris de Friesen. With the epoxy clay, epoxy sculpt it's specifically called, but we put a little bit of tin foil underneath the clay to build up the tortoise shell. So I would do a similar thing here. So you put a little epoxy sculpt down first, and then you put a little shaped shell of tin foil and then cover it with your epoxy sculpt. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on that. Um, and hers, she shaped it herself. You know, this wasn't done on a piece of wood, which I like doing it on a piece of wood. Um, I have mine. Look, I got these eggs to do for Easter and I never did them. Um, ooh, I forgot all about this stuff. Because I was going to add like a dragonfly to my um, frog project, but I did not. Um, where did I put all my... See, when I cleaned out my um, craft room for to do the floors, I moved everything and it, it was a kind of a rush job. So I'm just looking for my... I don't know where I put them, like my little gnomes, my gnomey guys. Oh, here they are. I knew I'd find them, so I just put them all in this baggie. This is done with epoxy sculpt clay. So I first started doing, because this is just another form of a mosaic, but done with beads, so a tiny little, and they're just so shiny. I saw, um, her name is Sue Mazzoni did the tutorial for this. And I think Sue, uh, I'm sorry, Julie Mazzoni, Julie Mazzoni and Julie Weilbacker do um, a lot of great tutorials for um, mosaics in general. But I started getting the hang of it. You know, this was a little thick. I was applying the, because the, the clay becomes your grout and your adhesive mixed together. So I was doing these little gnomes, and as I got better, you know, I started to understand how I wanted to lay the, the beads down as well to get them to have their most, the best visual effect, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. 
Anywho, that's the technique that I will be using to do a little sea turtle. So I would lay down just a coating, a thin coating of the clay on the, the base. And then once I get ready for the tortoise shell, um, anywho, all right, that's what I was trying to tell you. But what I was getting at was these, like this heart, was just formed from a, from the clay. I never had a wood substrate under it. I kind of like the idea, like this cross, I did on top of a wood cross. So it's just easier for me than having to, because I'm so rough and I push hard. I like the butterfly. I just really was disappointed with how I lost the shape of it. It's It started getting all squished together and I just didn't like it. I like things to have rolls and bumps and folds, not folds, but. <laughs> so when you put, like this is just flat, a little mandala, but when you put um, a piece of wood under it, you're just, I am just able to have a more consistent shape and a better guideline of where I'm going. So I am going to try that. All right, I'm going to go away, and um, I'm going to come back when he's kind of ready to be cleaned up a little bit. I'll be right back. All right, I am in the home stretch, you guys. I just have been fooling around a lot and learning, understanding that wherever the silicone is, it causes an issue with the grout. So it's important to really get used to that the silicone because my grout is really getting hard now I can't really spread it but anywho um, so in other words my my ball chain basically right here on the flower is disconnected it's not with the silicone and like I can let me zoom in right here this is silicone right here so really before you grout, this is, uh, maybe I did not do it to my fullest, um, I have an exacto blade. Um, get as much of the silicone off as you want because once you start to grout, I'll, I, I already fixed the places that it really showed. So like. Over here, like there was total, see I could still put a little more grout right here. I'm gonna just, it's really getting hard, but like there was just silicone and it looked white, like it didn't look black in other words, do you know what I mean? Like you could tell, and, and I'm being very particular, like my husband and my son told me already, it looks great, you know. <laughs> and because it's mine, I'm not selling it or anything. I am being a little overly, you know, specific because no one's going to criticize it worse than I am. I mean, unless I was selling it, <laughs> you know, the person who buys it has every right to uh, expect quality work. But like, I got it out of there pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. See right here, I can see silicone. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Ah, not bad. I thought there was silicone there. But see, I've gotten, I really scraped the grout out here. So I'm going to try and put some back. It might be too late. Like my grout is really starting to get uh, thick. But I'm going to try and just fill a little better. Because um, I really had to dig the crown out once I, grouting was hard for, it's interesting because just because of the edges on this, it goes, you know, it, it follows that it wouldn't be your standard process for grouting. So I have this little, where's my little sponge? I have sponges and water, but I think I'm going to leave it like this. Oh, I see a big silicone. I'm just going to smooth this without taking it off. Push it into the space. Um, 
having these little tools has really helped um, you know once you put the grout down you got to have everything ready to go all right but right here I just saw okay right here on his knee I see silicone right here yeah this is totally silicone and what I mean is it blocks the grout from adhering there the grout it, it can only go over the silicone so you want to make sure you get this off the rock and my I can see the ball chain moving but once the silicone sets up I don't even know if yeah I'm on camera once the silicone sets up the um, the grout will hold it in place. Everything will be held in place. So I'm counting on that actually because I'm not. I mean, I've never done this before, so I can't be positive. But I mean, common sense would tell me that um, the grout is there for you know a reason. So I could put a little bit more right in that spot. Sorry, the guys are working on the stairs today. Okay, I'm just gonna pull put a little more grout here right where I just took that silicone from and I am very rough meaning I pull it right back off if, if I'm not careful so anywho I'm pretty happy I'm gonna um I gotta stop fiddling with it and let it really set up and then I'll probably be able to get it off the rock further. Just that the tutorial was so good for, you know, you can tell when someone has experience. It's just they, they have a different level of uh, expertise and it's you know I expect myself to be perfect right away and the bottom you know I it could probably be thicker there let me just take some this is really getting thick now but I think I'm gonna just keep playing around so let me come back up And, you know, like, see, I can wipe this off, but I just think I want it to be more, uh, it wasn't really up against the full side of the tile. So I'm just, I'm just going to play a little bit more, but that's it, you guys. I love them. Thanks for watching.